Now this right here is a chestnut oak, which is a member of the white oak family. And this right here is a white oak. The white oaks all have these bumpy lids on them. You can see that very well on the camera. The ones that have the lid still attached, you don't want those ones. You gotta throw those out. Nature rejected them and so should you. So basically I went from picking these up, which is the chestnut oak or the rock chestnut oak and I process them by soaking them for days and days and days and then I crack the skin and pull the insides out then I put them in a food dehydrator for 24 to 48 hours and they are like rocks and I'm going to process them into food from there. Now there's a dry way, dry method and that includes getting them and drying them in the sun and then cracking them and then soaking them but I did the wet method, I soaked them. I picked them up, brought them home and I've been soaking them under the water, changing the water every two days or if I had to go out of town for four or five days, I went, I went four or five days and just had somebody else brushing the water up. So here you see the white oaks. I picked up two five gallons worth. It was about that high when I started. One of the things I do is I just get the water over the sink. Here we go. Pour the sink and just pour the water out. A lot of the so basically what I'm doing is I'm after soaking them I put them in and I just take this little thing and I open them up and peels it right back. It just peels right open, just like that. It peels right open. Here I have two containers where I've been changing the water out in. You can see the water in here is just a little bit yellower compared to the one I just changed the water in and here it's a tiny bit clearer. See the, see the difference in the water color? Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this water out of here. These aren't too bad. And uh, I'm going to put this in the food dryer jar and show you how that works. I started harvesting these in November and now it's the uh, end of January so they've been soaking and changing water non-stop for three months yeah three months and uh, so these after I get to this stage where I'm pulling the acorn down and cleaning out the outside skin this outside skin you're supposed to come it really needs to come off but it doesn't really matter because when they shrink it in the food dehydrator they pop right off disappears right completely so that's gone uh, white oaks are much much sweeter than a red oak I uh, sought after for all the by all the wild game and I stole these from where all the deer were when I was hunting anyway uh, anyway here they are so then I take this and I take them into here after changing the water for four or five days however it takes to get to the clearer water and then I go if I take one and go to the dehydrator tray, pour it on there. And just kind of spread them out. This takes 24 to 48 hours in the food dehydrator to achieve what I showed you when we started. Spread them out there, and I just use a old water container. I cut the thing in half, turn it into little baby buckets. They're really great because you can squeeze the top when you pour the water out. It's really nice, and you know it's disposable. And when I'm all done, I can toss them out. 
Uh, anyway, I'm going to put this on pause for a second. One of the things that I looked into was uh, researching this was this food spoilage. Well, food doesn't spoil when it's underwater. So even though they're heavily waterlogged, and there and 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 it's been underwater for three months. It's not going to spoil if it's submerged. And that's the thing is keeping them submerged. This is my acorns. I put this down here, give me a space between the between the hot coils, and then I'll put this above. And I'll show you in the food food dryer here in a second. So there we are. Three layers. Of acorns out of those two buckets, and that's going to give me. After I go 24 to 40 to 24 to 48 hours, it takes a little longer with the whole kernels. I know it's with the half kernels; it goes about 12, about 24 hours. But it's going to take about almost two days to dry those up. So after they dry up, and I take them out of there, and I put them in these bottles. I put them in the DeGrosso tomato sauce but containers. They have a lid and they seal. I know they seal because uh, I put some stinky things in one of these and it really keeps the smell out. So starting with all those, each one of those racks usually ends up producing about two of these. One, uh, one to two of those. So far, each thing we've done is one, two, three, four, and this one. And I have one more coming, which the one I do is put in the rack. And then that pail that I showed you I weighed before, that will be one more. So it'll be six plus this one. Well, this is, we're going to run this separate because that's that chestnut oak. But there'll be six of these that I'm going to turn into flour and make go from there. But they're, at this point, they're safe to store because they are dried and they are rock hard. So after I grind them into flour, I will soak them again so they will come back. Anyway, this is uh, Intricate Nature. And thanks for checking out what my interest is. It's not for a course. It's not for any any anything. It's just for pure enjoyment and for fun and to get something out of resources that are, people are walking by every single day. I did a little research on this, and there's maybe there's one other good video on the internet, uh, and uh, that's in the. That, done in the, in the dry way and as a part of the research I found that the acorn has a very high form of protein so that's an, that is an interest to me in case of in case of my hunting skills lack at some point I can just as easily go outside and pick the acorn off the ground and although it's a lot of work it can be done and I just grab these up into a, uh, into a container white acorns. Well, the white acorns are have less less tannin than the red acorns. White acorns produce every single year. And the red acorns take two years to get. Not the red acorns, the red oak. This is the white oak white oak. So this ones are actually better to eat than the red oak. As you can see I've shrink them all the way down to nothing by dehydrating them. And that allows me to see how I take this and I just squish it, squish it, squish it, and then all that, what we'll call a shaft, comes off. And then you end up with the little nuts inside. I'll just put those in there. white looking as if you do it the dry way. The dry way is you harvest the acorns and you wash them and any that float throw away 
Even with this one, you don't even want any ones that float, throw away. There's a bug or a worm in there. Uh, and then uh, wash them out, then lay them in on big pans. Or, uh, yeah, like a metal pan or a piece of plywood or something. Lay it, keep it in the sunshine. And uh, roll them around every so often, every couple days, and make sure they dry out completely. And you can tell the difference when they're dried to when they're wet. And then store them in a giant bucket or vat or, or whatever for the long term. This way, I believe, I haven't ground them yet, but I believe it's going to end up being a little bit darker. And I will be adding water because then after I grind it, I'm going to make sure I do one or two, one or two more, one more day of double checking to make sure all the tannins are out. I know I got as much out as I could possibly could by soaking in the big stuff and then soaking the next time. But I'm still going to soak, do the bowl soak to be on the safe side. I'll tell you one thing, the last 24 hours, the house smells amazing. This stuff is so very, very sweet. The white ac white acorns, white is a very sweet acorn. So there you see what I got left. Enough to start another one and one more to add to the bunch. There we go. I had to go get myself one more container. Crush these up when they come out. Put them in the front of a fan and let all the shaft blow away. I'll show you that in our video. The heat. I leave it in there for 24 to 48 hours. You kind of know the house stops smelling because it's nice and dried. You see a lot of the shaft left over here. I'm just going to throw it all in there for now and get rid of it later because there's still acorns mixed in with that. And then I want to give it a good huff and blow it all over the kitchen. So through it, put it through a sifter and stuff later on after it goes through the, through the grinding process. There we go. Set to go. A little tiny. That was like that. So I didn't like my estimation very much. I've been thinking about it and I think I'm going to do it over again. So what we have here is one pound. So I estimated I think it was seven pounds for two inches. But I've got one pound here, one pound here, and that's what's left, so I may have overestimated. I'll let you know here in a second. So what I came up with was uh, using the one pound scale it was five pounds. I got five pounds of acorns in this bucket here. And uh, what I originally estimated two pound two inches for seven pounds. And I did two buckets was 140 pounds so instead it's two inches at five pounds and five times ten fifty so it's a hundred pounds not 140 pounds anyway I feel better about weighing this little bit instead of doing an estimated based on measurement now we know for sure hundred pounds of acorns 